Hey everyone, this is Tony Thesis Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to log into your Linode server via SSH without a password. And the way we're gonna do this is with an SSH key. So let's go ahead and get right on into the tutorial here. Right now, I am sitting in my Linode dashboard, and what I'm gonna do is to create a new Linode. And you're probably used to this at this point. We're gonna do, uh, you, know, you can pick whatever operating system you want. I'm gonna do 20.04 for Ubuntu uh, in the Atlanta region. Uh, I'll do a two gigabyte plan. And what you're probably used to is typing in a password here. And then whenever you SSH into your Linode server, you would have to type in that password to verify that you uh, can access that server. The other option for authentication is something called an SSH key. Now I'm gonna walk you through in this tutorial how to set that up. We're basically going to create a public private key pair on our local computer and then share the public key with Linode. So anytime Linode creates a new server for you, a VPS server, it will associate that public key with it. And then when you go to log in from that computer, you won't have to do any type of authentication because it happens behind the scenes with your public private key pair and you're automatically gonna be logged into the server. So don't worry if that doesn't make sense, I'll walk you through each step of the process. So first thing you wanna do is to add an SSH key to our account, and this is a once and done thing. You can reuse the same key for multiple servers that you create with Linode. So I'm gonna give it the label uh, MacBook Pro because I'm on my MacBook Pro, and then it wants you to put your SSH key here. Now, how do we get our SSH key? Open up a terminal window if you're on Mac or Linux, you can use the SSH key gen command. If you're on Windows, you'll have to use something called putty gen, which uh, just go ahead and Google putty gen, um, and that'll uh, install the necessary open SSH packages on your computer. So you can pretty much do the same thing that we're doing here. Uh, okay, so in this case, let's go ahead and type in SSH dash key gen. Hit enter. Uh, whoops, SSH key gen, hit enter generating public private RSA key pair. So the file that's gonna save this is at this location .ssh, which is a hidden directory, ID RSA is the name of the file. So default is fine in this case. The passphrase, you can type something here, probably more secure to do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and skip over that. Enter the same passphrase again, hit enter, and bam, it has created our public key right here and our private key right here. So. Uh, if we look at that, that's in the SSH directory, uh, we have our private key and our public key. Now, public key is what we're going to go ahead and look at the contents of. So we can, you can cat, you use the cat command to look at the contents of that file. Cat this file, hit enter, and that is the content of my pub, uh, yeah, my public key. We don't ever wanna look at the private key. Uh, that is something, that's why it's called a private key. You don't wanna share that with anybody. I don't wanna put it on the screen. I'm only gonna uh, put this public key here and copy it and paste it into Linode. So Linode has that information. So I'll add that key. And now, anytime in the future and including this droplet, I can simply, instead of creating a root password, um, well, we will still have to create a root password, but instead of needing having the need to type in the root password, uh, we can just use the public SSH key. So let me go ahead and make a root password. And let's go ahead and create that Linode. Now this typically takes 30 seconds, so we'll just go ahead and skip forward through this. Okay, and now about a minute or so later, we have our Linode up and running. So let's go back to our terminal window and log in to that server via SSH. So we can type in SSH. Actually, they have this already set up for you. So let's minimize that. We'll copy this command right here, SSH root at the IP address, and we will paste that in. Hit enter. And the first time only you'll get this, uh, do you trust it, do you trust the host uh, connection? We can type in yes. Hit enter, and typically you would have to type a password at this point, but we are logged directly into the Ubuntu server. As you can see here, we are on our remote Linode VPS server at this point. Uh, just to show you for good measure, we'll exit out of that, go back to our terminal window and try it again. We won't get the authenticity. Uh, we won't get this prompt anymore asking about the, the, the fingerprint. We'll just get logged right in, no password. We'll use the public private SSH key pair to log in. Here we go. 
and we are logged into the remote server. No need to type a password. Guys, if you wanna learn more about SSH keys, passwordless logins, and Linode in general, I invite you to check out some of these videos over here. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this for me in the future, and if you do, I will see you in the next one.